G'day everyone, in this video today we're going to show you how you can add scripture and Bible verses to your vMix production. So now we're going to jump over to vMix and we're going to add a new title. Now it's been easy to create custom titles so you could use them for scripture and verses but we've actually added some title templates in vMix 22 and later. So if you go to the title section and then go right down the bottom you'll see three new titles here. So we have title 28 which is scripture and verse blue, scripture and verse gray and scripture and verse tall. So you can select one of these to add some uh, Bible verses. So we'll click OK. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to move this over and load it up. So it's got some animations on it. Um, so that's animated across like that. And now we can create, we can add scripture and we can add a verse down at the bottom. Now there are some animations to this as well. So if we make changes to the content, it will animate also. So I'm just going to switch this off live and I'm just going to copy and paste this uh, a few times just to see the content. So I'm just going to add some content here like so. Typically you would actually have the, uh, the Bible verse here. Uh, and so if we change the verse down here, which call this uh, chapter 1 verse 12. And then we'll just click live so that then goes live. So you'll see that there was some animation when we changed that. So now we have our scripture in here and we have our verse. Now chapter and verse down the bottom. So that's what you would do. You would just add your scripture to the scripture section and add your verse to the section down here. Now for the image, uh, you can click browse and then you can find an image that you want to use. So we've just got a square image here. So as you can see here, it says 280 by 280. So you would ideally would want something that's square and either 280 by 280 or larger. Um, so we're just going to select that. And as you can see now, that has now added our logo down the bottom. So you could have your church logo, you could have something else down there if you wanted to just um, for this overlay. Now, one thing that you might want to do is uh, when you go to the title editor, what you can do is go to the plus section here. So if I click plus, it means that I've got this scripture ready to go. So before the service, what you could do was load up a bunch of different um, scriptures that they're going to do during the sermon, uh, and then you can go ahead and add them as a preset down here. So what I'll do is, is I'll just change this to test, uh, and then fix this up down here. So we add these tests, uh, and then I can then also add this as a preset. So as you can see, I've got these two versions down here. Um, and so I can switch between them like so. So if I had multiple scriptures, uh, then I can use that. Uh, for this second one as well, if I went back to, sorry, if I went to this one, I can obviously change the verse there as well um, for this particular test one. Uh, and that way when I have, I need to change between them, I can just go ahead and make those changes by clicking this button here. Now you notice that the scripture text is smaller than the test one. That is because we've set a shrink. So regardless of how large or how much content there is, the font is going to shrink so it always fits inside this box. Now one last thing that we do get asked a lot is, can we have automated Bible verses into vMix? Now unfortunately, due to licensing restrictions with the different biblical translations and religious text translations, we're unable to add it directly into vMix. So you will just need to copy and paste your content into the title editor. So thanks for watching this video. Now, as you can see, it's fairly easy to use the templates to add scripture, or you can go ahead and build your own in the GT Title Designer. And I'd recommend checking out some of our other tutorial videos on how to create titles. If you do have any questions, please send us an email via the support page on vmix.com. It's also going to be linked in the description below. Now, it's really difficult to answer YouTube comments uh, for technical questions, so please send us through an email. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Click to watch another exciting vMix video or head to vmix.com for a free 60-day trial. See you later.